What's up, guys? It's a comedy uh, weekend. Yay! We're going to check out famous comedians versus hecklers because we were talking about hecklers in one of the videos, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, let's see how the famous comedians do this. If you're new, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Do it right now. I'm a huge comedy fan. I just, I just love comedy. It makes me happy. It takes us out of the sadness and I sometimes I get messages from you guys about sadness and I'm like hey like there's so much comedy out there we, you know if you're going through it if if life is rough and you're going through something let's just sit here and watch some comedy together and you know let's let's like raise our energy levels let's get like holistic with it let's give us some endorphins Put some positive energy out there by laughing. You know, they, they say a smile a day keeps the doctor away. Is it, or is it an apple? I don't know. Um, but if you're new, subscribe right now to the channel. It takes me a long time to do these live reactions that aren't edited. And, and you know, maybe if I had more subscribers and more views, I could uh, afford an editor. So, uh, you, know, you know, send this to a friend, a family member. Uh, now is that time where I, I start begging you. And uh, shout out to the Patreons. But yeah, uh, follow me everywhere I want, my Lauren. Because sometimes it's just in an accent. If you've got a scary accent, Scott's accent, you don't fuck with a Scott. If a blind midget came up to me and said, Are you looking for trouble, pal? <laughs> no, absolutely no way. <laughs> Not take you on, blind Scottish midget. There you go. I've got a Scottish person swearing at me there. Thank you very much. What was that? You're a bastard. Oh, that is. Oh, well, that's that's. Um, I don't know if that's the latest word you've learned, but I certainly know it's the first words that babies learn in Scotland. That's, that's what they really say. Oh. All right. Thank you, Motley. Part four. Oh boy, okay. Like and subscribe to them too. I love him. Oh. Bullshit! Bullshit! My dude! <laughs> Richard Pryor, oh, he was so People cool. People in the audience get hostile. You drunk motherfucker! What's that? I wasn't getting to the Greek. Thank you very much. Is this the part where you think that this is just a conversation between the two of us? It's a strange thing that you're like, now I'll start talking to you. Here are the things that I know you from. I enjoyed your performance in Get Him to the Greek. I wasn't a fan of How to Train Your Dragon. You were? Okay. I was just hypothetically being you. I'm not purporting to really know what you feel about the different film projects I've been in. You've never seen it, but you're a fan of it? You've seen me on Comedy Central? You guys trust me, we need to get all this out of the way. <laughs> what is happening? There's no other job like this, you know? Where you go on stage, or not on stage even, but like, what if I worked at a law office and I just came in and you're like, hey, I saw you in the break room. I liked how you got that coffee. Yeah, I saw you in your cubicle too. That was pretty good. And I don't really like cubicles. I feel like they're a poor man's office. He was at the Stan's 10-year uh, reunion. He was really nice, actually. <laughs> and another woman died for that. <laughs> About three weeks ago, I met a girl. She was real nice, and she invited me to her him. apartment. So I went over there, and she had the best pussy I have ever had. Oh, now, come on! I'm talking about her cat. Now, that makes me sick right there. Now, you can't say anything anymore that people don't take it dirty, and I'm sorry. That disgusts me. That cat was the best fuck I ever had. Hey, what a treat. This was my dream to help the homeless. What's going on? Uh -oh. like, go get it. Now, I'll tell you this. <laughs> oh, boo your ass. I didn't ask you in here. <laughs> He's free for crying out loud. 
Abraham Lincoln was a Jew. And we said, free the gun mother, free the mother. I make fun. I make fun of the blacks. I make fun of the Jews. Well, not really. I'll tell you this. I make fun of people. Paul Rodriguez, a great Mexican kid. I swear to God, my wife and I were in Mexico City for two weeks. Never saw the city. She kept saying, I think it's a salad. <laughs> I said, no, it's a goddamn tomato. It's a tomato. You know what it was? It was the waiter. You want a burrito? How about an enchilada? You want an enchilada? And then the guy tossed the salad for crying out loud. Look at the black brother laughing, you son of a gun. The one with the blowgun. Anyway, uh, I make fun of the black people. Without you, we'd have no Olympics. That's right. They're great runners. You put a gun on their ass, they can beat a bullet. I'll tell you this, though. Laugh and enjoy people. That's the main thing. I swear to God. Is that your wife, sir? Jesus Christ. I'll tell you this. That's the... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's a pretty lady. Jesus. What was it, a train? And I can tell you for certain, that dude is down. Uh, hey, hey, yo, Kim McGoody, shut the fuck up. me you win because I have no comebacks I have nothing witty to say I never claim to be clever or talented or witty I came up here to do this because my family is together for the first time in years and we're doing this show together and if you don't like it I'm sorry and I'm, I, I'm sorry if I brought all of you down I came to see a good show I'm trying to do some singing some dancing some some songs with my family, and you know, it's a variety show. So, if I brought you down, thank you very much for showing me where I'm at. I guess I don't really have that much more to do. And if you don't want me to continue, then I guess I won't. So, uh, thank you for showing me where I'm at.
Thank you for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay, love you.